So this is kind of an odd little tip, but I want to show you guys how you can take, let's say, an aerial photograph or a street picture or something like that and turn it into kind of a, a fake model scene. So it's almost like, you know, somebody created a model, you know, a model of the town or the city street or whatever you guys want. There's a pretty typical way you can get this done. Uh, one of the easiest ways that I've found, um, and I've seen a lot of different methods on, online, is to use a, uh, a quick mask with a gradient and then apply a blur to it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it look like we've got the, uh, the camera is actually focusing on the center here, but the outsides are blurred. So to do this, what I want to do is go into quick mask mode. So make sure, first of all, your layer is unlocked. I'll press the letter Q to go into quick mask. I'll go to gradient, the gradient tool over here on the left. And what I want to do is use this type of gradient right here. You'll actually see it's a reflected gradient. And what we do is we literally will drag through the part that we want to remain unblurred, I guess you could say. And you don't have to go straight, you guys, when you drag this. So I'll go a little bit off, maybe. And you'll see it looks like it kind of did the quick mask like this. If I hit the letter Q, you'll see the selection. Now that may be too little, so I might want to try it again here. I'm going to deselect, go into quick mask by pressing Q. Click and drag out just a little bit more. Hit Q, get out of quick mask, and we'll try that. I'll go to filter, and what we're going to do is we're going to blur it. So there's a couple ways to get this done. Lens blur seems to be a pretty good way to get it done, so I'll try that one. Now you can't, you guys, I don't know if how many of you use smart filters, but if you choose smart filters, you can't use a lens blur. So I'm going to have to do it. You could make a copy of the layer if you wanted to, but I'll choose lens blur, bring it in here, and take a look. You'll see it's doing a pretty good job right out of the gate. You might want to change, let's say, the, um, I don't know, the radius. Uh, you might you can try some other things in here. I don't really mess too much with it. If you think that it's too much, too little, you can increase or decrease the radius. You want to be very careful with this because otherwise it can look really stupid. So eh, that might not be too bad. Maybe a little bit less, but I'll click OK. I'll deselect. And what, last step we might take here is to do just a little bit of an adjustment maybe. So you guys can do like a hue saturation, brightness contrast, maybe even a little bit of curves. Go out and increase or decrease, you know. Give it that model look. You guys can see, look at that. That's actually a real shot, but it now looks like it's a little tiny model. So, like I said, it's kind of an odd little tip, but I've used it in the past. So, there you go.